sum number 17 using the following data construct the fisher's ideal index number and show that it satisfies uh, factory reversal test as well as the time reversal test so in this problem first we have to compute the fisher's ideal index number finally we have to do that factory reversal test as well as the time reversal test so the commodities are given, 5 commodities from A to E and next one is uh, price in rupees. So price is given. So base year price is given as well as the current year price is also given. So base year price is P0 and uh, current year price is P1. Next information is number of units. Number of units is a quantity. So quantity in base year Q0, quantity in current year Q1. So these two columns are price and these two columns are quantities. First you have to calculate the Fisher's ideal index number. So P0, Q0. So multiply P0 into Q0. 6 into 50 is 300. So 200, 240, 500, 320. Adding all the information, uh, 1560 total value. So this is P0, sigma P0, Q0. Next one, P1 into Q1. So multiply P1 into Q1. So 10 into 556 is 560. Similar manner, 240, 360, 288, 432, 1880. Since the total value is 1880, so sigma P1 Q1 is 1880. Next one is P1 Q0. P1 into Q0. Multiply these two values. 10 into 50 is 500. First one is 500. Similarly, 200, 360, 600, and 480. So, adding all the values, 2140. So, sigma P1 Q0 is 2140. The last result is P0, comma, P0 into Q1. So, P0 into Q1 is 16 to 56 is 336, and 2 into 120 is 240. In a similar manner, so adding all the entries, the total value is 1344. So this is the um, summation of summation of P naught Q1. Okay. So straight away applying the Fisher's ideal index number formula, we said that 0, 1 Fisher's equal to square root of sigma P1 Q0 by P0 Q0 into sigma P1 Q1 by P0 Q1 into 100. So already known the sigma P1 Q0 value is um, 2140. So 2140 by um, sigma P0 Q0 is 1560 into uh, sigma P1 Q1 value is um, 1880 by sigma P0 Q1 is 1344 into 100. So P sub 01 fissures can be taken as 138.5. So this is the result of fissures ideal index number. So finally we have to show that the time reversal test. So time reversal test formula is P sub x 0 1 fissures and P sub x 1 0 fissures equal to, see so you are already known the formula for a time reversal test. So formula is sigma P1 Q0 by sigma P0 Q0 into sigma P1 Q1 by sigma P0 Q1 into sigma P0 Q1 divided by P1 Q1 and sigma P0 Q0 by sigma P1 Q0 to remember this formula. So, uh, in this result, P1 Q0 value is 2140 by uh, P0 Q0 value is 1560 into sigma P1 Q1 is 1880 by 1344 into P0 Q1 is 1344 by 1880 into 1560 by 2140. The calculation of P0 Q1 is uh, multiply P0 into Q1. So already known Q1 P0. So we have to calculate Q0 P1. So multiply uh, 16 to 56 is 1336. So 2 into 12240 adding all the values. So, uh, so the result of um, sigma P0 Q1 is P0 Q1 value is 1344. And this can be put into the place of P0 Q1 is 1344. Cross out all the values which is equal to 1. So time reversal test is verified. Next one, 
factory vessel test. Factory vessel test for a CFP is that 01 F into quantity is that 01 F can be taken as uh, square root of sigma P1 Q0 by sigma P0 Q0 into sigma P1 Q0 by sigma P0 into Q1. Next quantity for sub 01 means all the price can be changed into quantities. So P in, in the place of P, Q, Q1 P0. Q0 is P0 by again in this place we have to take a Q0 P0. So all the price can be changed into quantity and all the quantity can be changed into price into again Q1 uh, this one is P1 divided by Q0 into P1. Uh, this is the factory result test formula. So instead of applying all the results so 2 1 sigma P1 Q0 is 2140 by 1560 into 1880 by 1344 into 1344 by 1560 and 1880 by 2140. This is the calculation of Q1 P0. P0 Q1 is already known. So we have to calculate Q1 P0. So 56 into 6 is 336. So adding all the values 1344. So this is um, sigma Q1 P0. So the Q1 P0 uh, value is uh, 1344 so the two, two terms are left out so 1880 and 1880 and 1560 and 1560 so 1880 into 1880 is 1880 whole square by 1560 into 1560 is 1560 whole square taking the square root 2 to cancel so 1880 by 1560 so 1880 is already known 1880 is the value of sigma P1, um, P1 Q1. So okay, this value is uh, P1 uh, Q0, sorry, P1 Q0, Q1 Q0 um, by the secondary value. Both values are same. So we have to take P1 Q1, no problem. So this is the P1 Q1 is already known. This value is P1 Q1. Okay, P1 Q1 by uh, the P0 into Q0. So P0 into Q0 uh, value is 1560. So uh, this value. So this is the formula. So uh, this is verified. Okay. So the factory vessel test which is equal to sigma P1 Q1 by sigma P0 into Q0. Hence the problem.